family kitchen today i am so excited because i have something special to show you it's so so special to me let me tell you the story behind it you know a lot of people have been asking me oh what local spice can we use for our native soup for our nigerian soups and things like that and you know i've been thinking because when i give people a recipe i want it to be that there are ingredients that are easily accessible to people in our local markets so I was thinking, okay, I have certain uh, native spice recipes that I use, but I know some of the ingredients might not be easy for people. So I was thinking, okay, which one can I give that will be easy for people to get anywhere? And I'd kind of been thinking about it, thinking about it. And then one night I was sleeping. I woke up in the middle of the night to pray. And as I opened my eyes, the recipe was in my mind complete with exact measurement i knew it was the holy spirit immediately he does so many things like that to me so i ran i got up and i got a paper and a pen and i quickly wrote it down as i was writing it i was asking holy spirit is it this he would tell me yes is it this he would say then when he mentioned nutmeg i was now like okay is it calabash nutmeg and the answer was no your regular baking nutmeg i was like inside native spice so when i got up after writing it down when i got up i prayed the following morning i didn't even tell anybody about it i was just like i want to do a native spice something then i put the rest the ingredients together and i made it after making it i gave it to everyone around i was like smell this and everybody was like, woo, that's amazing spice. It will be so good in native soups. And I was, yay! <laughs> that was when I told my husband. I said, you know, it was the Holy Spirit that inspired this recipe. He gave me the exact measurements. And that's why I'm giving it to you free. You know, freely have I received, freely do I give. So I'm going to be sharing it with you. Very simple, very easy. And I have all the ingredients right here with me. Let's get started. In the dry meal of your blender, put three pieces of bonga fish, three pieces, two pieces of this flat iru, the flat type, one tablespoon of uziza seed, one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of alligator pepper, three pieces of deseeded uda, one tablespoon of grated nutmeg, the fresh one. Cover, time to blend. So that is your native spice. Look at that. I wish you can smell this with me right now. It is smelling so delicious. I'm so happy with it. I am so happy to share it with you. You can use it for any of your soups. A furry roll, a goosey, or bono, or craw, bitter leaf, or ha, or feel weary. As in, just feel free to use it for your native soup. Even your beans, even your native jollof rice, even your uh, banga rice, anything native it goes with it i'm very very happy with this and now you also have your own native spice your homemade native spice that you can make so you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up as always and please when you make it send me feedback i really want to hear your feedback because as you know this native spice is very special to me and it's also special to me and you know when the holy spirit gives something you can believe it is very healthy Till next time again, when I'll be showing you a recipe I'll make with this. Don't forget, Lagos Housewife as always. Ciao!